everybody and welcome to Dynamic GT League's Grevo Cup for Race 8 at the Blue Moon Bay Infield A Circuit. Let's take a quick look at the current championship standings after 7 races. Demon R leading the way on 124 points with SGP in 2nd place on 101. But it's going to be down to Steve F1 and Mandalorian to gain enough points over Demon R to stop him from taking the title today. Jason is in 5th place ahead of Fluffy Planet. Dave the Harp, Groover, formerly Gary, Silver Shadow. And then we've got Bunsell, Rich Blues and SRI very close with Tyler and Con Reese and Lewis in the bottom 3 drivers. The qualifying order, or the grid order should I say, for today's race is Lewis on pole position, Tyler joining him on the front row. SRI and Rich Blues are on row 2, while Silver Shadow and Formula Gary are on row 3. On row 4 it's Groover and Dave the Harp, and Jason and Steve F1 take up row 5. Mandalorian and Demon R round out the grid on row 6. With a few drivers unable to race today, SGP and Fluffy both on a holiday, it could be a very, very open race with the potential of uh, many a winner or the possibility of a champion being decided. Only time will tell what the result will be. Before we get to that, a quick message from the DGT League admin. We're ready then in the commentary box for the DGT League Race 8 at the Grievo Cup. And joining me on commentary is... It's James. You alright, mate? Alright, let's go. And the drivers are ready as well. Blue Moon Bay, it's time to meet the Grievo Cup. Lewis on pole position. And as the lights go out, it looks like he's had a decent start. SRI though going sideways again. Yeah, I don't know. I think SRI thought he were already up at Turn 1. I thought he was going for the pit lane. So, Lewis uh, starts on pole position, heads into the first corner. Creed Curve in first place. He'll be delighted with that. Yeah, indeed. He had Tyler harassing him and here comes Silver Shadow in third place. Head through Clubber Curve. Aye, Silver Shadow taking as uh, many opportunities as he can starting near the front. But Tyler, he's shown that he's got pace, but has he got the tyre life? That's what he struggled with in the past as he heads towards Herpes Hairpin. He's having a look at Lewis. He's having a go at ooh, Lewis. Ooh. Oh, and he's got through. Although, he's slowing down, James. Yeah, I think he thought that he went in a bit deep there into Herpes Hairpin as we're now heading through the Buzz Hairpin. Yeah, into the final corner, as we're going to call it, the Armstrong, because if you go too wide, as Silver Shadow nearly did, you are sent out into space via the wall. So, Lewis then, he's going to lead the first lap across the line. It looks like he is, but Silver Shadow very, very close to the back of Tyler. Yeah, he's heading down the Apollo straight now. Tyler pulls out from the slipstream, but I think Silver Shadow might be able to take this three wide down towards Turn 1. He might do. Tyler threw into the lead, though. Silver Shadow lurking. Lewis trying to fight back. You know what? He's got a decent run on Tyler, heading into the uh, into Clubber. But uh, Silver Shadow is also around the outside. Lewis makes it through. That's a brilliant move. Yeah, very, very late on the brakes, and I'm pretty sure. Ooh, oh, Lewis, he's, he's run wide. He's run wide in the kinky curve. Yeah, he's been battered about a bit there, and now Silver Shadow applying some pressure to Tyler as the pack behind. Oh, is that David Hart getting a little bit sideways? I think it is. Silver Shadow, though, is closing in. Let's see, Demon Art, current championship leader, uh, sitting in ninth place at the moment, and SGP not in this race today, James, which is a bit of a disappointment, but I'm sure he's enjoying himself on holiday. 
Yeah, Steve F1 now harassing the back of Dave the Harp as they head through on the, uh, Neil Armstrong. I think Groover hit the the, uh, the wall there on the outside as they're heading back onto the Apollo straight. Uh, Silver Shadow's got a decent run here, uh, but he hasn't got any slipstream as, uh, you know what? Oh. Ah. Demon Arse, yeah, he's into the pit lane, James. Oh, Groover's coming up rapidly into Creed Curve. Yeah, Creed is uh, it's a very, very long curve. And there you can see Mandalore in there in sixth place. But as you said, SGP not here today. So I think if uh, Demon R finishes anywhere within the top ten, he's going to take the title. Quite possibly. It all depends on what Steve F1 and Mandalorian can do. Although Tyler doing well at the moment, leading the race. Silver Shadow still right behind him. Groover sitting in third. Steve F1 is up to fourth place already. And he started second, uh, third to last, sorry. So he's doing very, very well at the moment. But he has got Dave the Harp and Mandalorian all over the back of him. And there is Dave the Harp having a look into, oh, into the buzz. And then into the kneel. Steve F1 is trying to get past Groover. Oh. Dave the Harp gets a little sideways and so does Mandalorian. Yeah, Mandalorian lost a lot of places there, but Steve F1, oh no, not Steve, he's up in third, he's already attacking Silver Shadow, is Steve F1 as they're heading now onto the Apollo straight. Yeah, is Tyler going for the pit lane? No, he's just taking the low line down the straight. A bit of an IndyCar move, that, as Silver Shadow trying to use the slipstream to get past, but he's just gifted the slipstream to Steve F1, who's having a look up the inside into Creed. Can he make it? Two in one, Ooh. yes he can! Well done, that were a nice move there for Steve F1 as Mandalorian is now into the pit lane. But Tyler, is he coming back? He's trying it all, oh, but taking that tight line, he's going to compromise his exit. Silver Shadow may have a run on him as Steve F1 is now leading the race and already opening up a bit of a gap. Dave the Hard, though, yeah, Silver Shadow has lost out a little bit of time with uh, making sure he gives space to Tyler. And here comes Dave the Hard. Uh, he's going for it. He wants the hairpin herpes. Yeah, he's gone deep. No, no, he's kept it tight up the inside there. Silver Shadow, if he can run it round the outside, he may end up up on the inside of Buzz. He might well be. Where Silver Shadow goes? Silver Shadow's round wide. Go, oh, yeah, he went for that uh, inner line and it doesn't quite work. It can compromise your exit. So as they come through Armstrong now, Dave Harp is up to third place and Steve F1 is opening up a big lead. I'm curious though, James, why would Demon R pit at the end of lap two and uh, Mandalorian the end of lap three? I think that they're thinking about the end of this stint, but right now Steve F1 is pulling a gap over the rest of the pack. If they're all fighting, Steve F1 can just pull away. Yeah, that he can, that he can. Tyler going defensive on Dave the Harp. It could compromise his exit if he runs too wide. Yeah, Dave the Harp's got a decent run on him and taking it all the way up to the wall, which is beautiful to do. And in the background, Lewis is still in there, you know, James. Uh, I mean, we're five laps in, he's still going. He's not faced the wrong direction yet. Oh, Dave the Harp having a little bit of a look on Tyler through the kinky curve. Tyler run wide there. Can he have another look up the inside of the herpes hairpin? Now nah, Tyler's covering it off. He's gone defensive, but Dave the Harp's going to try and go all the way around the outside. But now he's going to have to be careful of Silver Shadow trying to slot into that space. And you know what? Demon R in 10th place is already onto the back of the pack. So he's now there yeah. with fresher tyres. Yeah, indeed. As a head through Buzz. The Buzz hairpin is a very tight double apex and now they're heading through the Neil Armstrong curve and uh, yeah, I think Dave the Arp's got a decent run here and Silver Shadow. Ooh, you know what, Dave the Arp may get hung out to dry because he's got no slipstream. Silver Shadow though, they're going to go three wide down the Apollo um, Apollo 13, I'm, no I'm Apollo 3. <laughs> I'm looking out for Lewis, he's going to be at his slipstream. Oh there he is, just poking his nose into the screen but Silver Shadow, he's gone Ooh. through. I think Tyler tried to go for the corner but there was a car there a little bit of contact and that sent Dave the Harp wide that's costly for Dave the Harp he could get mugged here yeah he's got yeah he's down in seventh at the moment and SRI's up his inside to head through the clubber curve and now they're heading through the kinky curve that they are. Uh, well, look at the gap that Steve F1 has already got uh, on Silver Shadow. Lewis is now fighting to take third place off Tyler. Tyler once again going defensive into the herpes hairpin, and I don't blame him. It's uh, it is an overtaking opportunity there. Demon R is now up into seventh place as we speak. Tyler running a little bit wide there through Buzz, as we can see Demon R trying it round the outside of SRI in Buzz. I'm thinking that Tyler may have hit Lewis, you know, and that's why he was perhaps running a little slow. Oh, as a few drivers slide Ooh. up and hit the Armstrong wall. But Demon R, there he is. He's on the back of Dave the Harp. Uh, Dave the Harp was fighting for third a moment ago. But even so, even though the Demon R and Mandalorian have made a pit stop, 
Steve F1 has still opened up a big gap at the moment. Yeah, yeah, I think he's sitting pretty right now with Steve F1. And there we can see Lewis getting a little bit out of shape oh, there in Demon R, Demon R's going all the way around the outside of David Harper around the Creed curve. That's the benefit of the fresher tyres. They're only two laps fresher, but they give so much more grip at this stage. Indeed. Now we've got Jason in front. Can Jason try and get through past Tyler or is Demon R going to have him? Uh, well, I reckon Demon R might be going to give it a go. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's trying it around the outside of the herpes hairpin. As David uh, the half just uh, realised that Mandalorian is shoving up the inside. Yeah, Jason going defensive by the looks of it towards Buzz. Yes, he is. Mandalorian have a look in, have, uh, having a look up the inside of Demon R. Oh, they're just making it through. Demon R oh. up onto the grass, though, nearly into the barrier. Uh, I think Mandalorian, yeah, Mandalorian is behind Demon R, so I think he must have waited for him. But Lewis, he's having a good race so far, and he's got an opportunity of taking second place here, James. Yeah, indeed. He's just got to think about where to place his can right now. I thought Silver Shadow going to be heading for the pit lane but no he's carried on and if anything it looks like the, it's pretty much stalemate down in towards the creek curve yeah that it is silver shadow somehow managing to keep hold of the position jason though he's all over the back of tyler oh no he's not he's all up Ooh. alongside tyler and mandalorian's up alongside demon r as well and then right behind them is sri and formula gary i think it is but tyler and jason side by side can jason get through Oh, Jason just run a little bit Ooh. wide there. Oh, he's run run onto the roof there, and that's going to allow Demon R and Mandalorian through. Yeah, I think they were both holding their breath there as they uh, had to swerve out of the way. Demon R going defensive, doesn't want to let Mandalorian chuck it up the inside into the herpes hairpin. Mandalorian now going to go for the wider entry into the buzz, and he's going to try and go all the way around the outside. It's not easy to do. Demon R trying to leave in the room. Mandalorian, big sideways moment. Yeah, I think he's just getting a little bit aggravated now. He's trying to put Demon R under as much pressure as possible as they're now heading on to the Apollo straight and Tyler. I think he's going to be a little bit of a sitting duck here. He definitely could be. Now, usually Tyler's tyres in previous races around about this time have gone off. So let's hope that that's not the situation for him at the moment. Lewis, once again, closing in on the back of Silver Shadow, having a look up the inside into the Creed curve. Side by side they Ooh. go. I think there may have been a little touch of contact there, but also, is it Demon R and Tyler? Yeah, Demon R and Tyler side by side as well. Yeah, Tyler, I think he's just lost out there. And Mandalorian, I think he's trying it round the outside of Tyler as well. Mm hmm. Nice move, yeah. I think Tyler's tyres, not easy to say that, Tyler's tyres might have gone off a little bit. Uh, so Lewis now running in second place then. Silver Shadow third, Demon R fourth, Mandalorian fifth, Tyler sixth, Jason seventh, and Dave the Harp in eighth place. But this is an absolutely brilliant race so far. Oh, uh, Man Mandalorian all over the back of Demon R. Demon R just got his uh, rear tyres on that kerb and almost spun it there. Managed to hold on to it, but now he's got Mandalorian just sniffing on that rear exhaust pipe. That he has. Oh, Demon R's hit Armstrong as well. You don't want to be doing that. You lose a lot of speed. Uh, I was going to say as well, Jason in the background, uh, just as Demon R was getting out of shape, so was Jason. But I tell you what, Demon R and Mandalorian got a decent opportunity here, but Silver Shadow right up the gearbox of Lewis. Uh, although the gearbox yeah. is near the front in these cars, I think. So uh, right up under his rear wing, man. Uh, Demon R having a look up the inside Ooh. as those two fight. Yeah, they may not have realised, but Silver Shadow has now Demon R slotting through he's got one Mandalorian's going to take that opportunity as well this is good racing yeah under breaking it's all getting very very close everybody managing to make sure that they're not understeering and smacking into people this is very good racing so far yeah that it is as we head towards herpes Demon R is either looking to attack or he's looking to defend maybe both let's see how they get on through the hairpin Lewis with a lovely line through there is Demon R going to chuck it into into the buzz I'm not so sure Mandalorian no he's not going to do it Demon R's uh, focusing on the exit of the corner Mandalorian's got closer Lewis has run wide yeah so Lewis unfortunately run wide now Demon R and Mandalorian are uh, through into P2 and P3. Demon R just slaps the wall there as Lewis is trying to hang on to Mandalorian. But look at the gap on the minimap. Steve F1's just starting lap 11 already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and as per usual, he's pretty good on his tyres at the moment by the looks of things. Lewis uh, trying to close in on uh, Mandalorian, though. Still got Silver Shadow right behind him. Mandalorian having a look at attacking Demon R. Demon R wants none of it. Lewis is uh, trying to defend from Silver Shadow, and they're so close. Yeah, Silver Shadow almost hitting into the wall there at the exit of Creed. So now we're heading to the clubber curve. 
you know what, I've got to say, this is good races so far between Lewis and Silver Shadow. Mandalorian still on the back of Demon R, which is good to see. Formula Gary, though, now closing in on Silver Shadow and bringing Groover and Jason with him. Uh, I think quite a few drivers have made their first pit stop. Oh, Lewis! Ooh. Big slide wide! Yeah, that'll put a heat cycle through the tyres, and that's not what you want, because... Oh, oh, up at front, I think uh, Mandalorian having a little look there at Demon R, but I think Demon R's still in front. He is, yeah. You know what? I think Lewis may have been hit by Formula Gary, and that's why he ended up going deep into the corner. And then Lewis accidentally hit Silver Shadow, so he went deep in the corner. So there was a lot of slowing down for each other through uh, the herpes and the buzz and the kneel there. Mandalorian, though, he's got a decent run here on Demon R down the Apollo straight. And uh, I've got to say, I'm liking the pink. Yeah, but it's all about if they're going to be seeing red down at Turn 1 because they don't want to understeer into each other here. No, that, they don't, man. Ooh, Ooh Demon are looking for a little bit of a switchback. Don't think it's going to work, though, on this occasion. Mandalorian using as much of the road as possible. Demon R slots in behind. But, yeah, I mean, something to consider, James, is these two, though, it's a great battle we're watching, but are they letting Steve F1 run away? They are, but right now, if, if the chequered flag were now, which it isn't, if it was now... Demon R is really in a situation where the two guys that are fighting him in the championship are in front of him. He really needs to beat these two, and if he's going to do anything, he needs to find a way past Mandalorian because he's got to find Ooh. about six. Ooh, he's got to find <laughs> about six, seven seconds to Steve F1 because he's just flying away with it. He's already running through. Neil Armstrong. Yeah, I mean, I've got to say, Steve F1's having a brilliant race at the moment. And uh, by the looks of it, he's heading into the pit lane. So 13, nearly 14 minutes for his first stop. That means he's probably only going to do one more stop. Mandalorian heading for the pit lane. No, he's not. Demon R, though, it's Demon R's into the pits. Yeah, so Mandalorian's staying out. He's wanting to try and break away from that pack behind, but a few of them are staying with him. That's Jason, Dave the Harp. Uh, Tyler and Rich Blues Ooh, I think Tyler just got massively out of shape there and uh, gave Rich Blues a little bit of a nudging um, a few drivers did pit then as well as well as Steve S1, uh, Silver Shadow did, uh, Lewis did I believe uh, so a few guys have now got new rubber on their car Jason uh, just ahead though of Rich Blues and Tyler, I think Tyler may have slowed down you know because um, he was ahead of Rich Blues, and I thought I saw contact, so I think Tyler has waited for him. I've got to say, I do like to see that. Or oh, Tyler oh. going for the overtake, though. That's a legitimate attempt. Yeah, Rich Blues just runs slightly wide there, but now Tyler's going to be on the outside. Ooh. Ooh, I think Rich Blues slightly sliding now. His tyres are pretty knackered. I don't think these guys have pitted, and we're already nearly 15 minutes into this race. Yeah. Oh, Rich is up into the wall. Yeah, into Armstrong. It gives it another bash in. Um, people say the moon landing was fake. Well, it can't be when it hits you like that. Mandalorian into the pit lane then. Jason into the pit lane as well. Tyler, where's he going to be? He's going to carry on. So, you know what? We've got Dave the Harp, Rich Blues, and Tyler currently leading the race. Yeah, yeah. Very surprising. Lewis... Carrying on as well with Groover, and there is Demon R. He's pitted. Where is Steve F1? I'm trying to work out whereabouts he is. He's just up the road. He's uh, ahead of these guys. He's SRI just in the distance, uh, and uh, Steve F1 is just ahead of SRI, I believe. Uh, let's see, Demon R trying to make his way past Groover. Yeah, Groover, I think his tyres going there with Steve F1. Uh, SRI, then Lewis, then Demon R, Groover, Formula Gary. Uh, and yeah, they're, they're going too quickly to remember everyone. <laughs> yeah, SRI now on the back of uh, Steve F1. I don't think SRI's pitted yet, has it? I'm not sure, but Steve F1 is uh, trying to get past Rich Blues as well. And while he's trying to do that, SRI is trying to come back at him. And this is a fight that uh, Steve F1 doesn't want to get involved in because there's Demon Arlock. So the gap, yeah. the gap was about seven seconds before the pit stops, James. Now it's, it's probably about three. Yeah, it's yeah. about three seconds. Yeah, all oh, Lewis covering the inside there. Demon R trying to make a way through, but it's not happening. And there is Mandalorian in the background in the 11th place. Yeah, so Mandalorian uh, has lost a bit of time through those pit stops, but he's got the fresher tyres. Demon R having a look at Lewis, uh, letting him know early that he's having a look down the inside into the corner. Can Lewis... No, oh, Lewis has gone straight on. He's gone deep. That, uh, that's not going to be nice on his tyres. It's not going to be nice for his position either. But Demon R yeah. will say thank you. Yeah, and I think it's service resumed with Demon R in front of Mandalorian, I think. Demon R's having a look uh, on Rich Blues into the kinky. It's a difficult one to go for there because it gets so tight and Mandalorian is all over his gearbox as well. Now Demon R's defending ooh. towards the herpes. He doesn't want to let Mandalorian have any attack. 
Yeah, I think Mandalorian's going to try and do for a switch back, but Demon has covered it. It's covered the inside. And this is absolutely frantic stuff. Mandalorian having a look up the inside, but Demon R's got it covered off. Formula Gary also now behind Mandalorian. So what is the gap between Steve F1? Oh, he's getting smaller, James. SRI is between Steve F1, Demon R and Mandalorian. I've got a feeling it's between Steve F1, Demon R and Mandalorian for the win here today. Yeah, I think, if anything, they can see SRI's heading for the pit lane. No, he's staying out. But Demon Eye needs to get in some slipstream because right now he's got everybody up behind him and everybody's got slipstream. Look at that, five guys in the line there. Yeah, that is all Demon R. He's tried to move around the outside on a couple of guys already and then now he's trying it on SRI and he's managed to get through. That is definitely making the most of the times. But once again, Mandalorian's following him through. No, SRI's <laughs> trying to hold on to it. Gary's trying to get in on this battle as well. Yeah, very getting very, very tight and exciting here in the midfield. And SRI, is he going to start backing Mandalorian up now? Demon has released past SRI. He's got a bit of fresh air. Ooh. Can Mandalorian find a way through? Well, he's having a look. He's on the outside at the moment, but it's not a bad place to be in the buzz hairpin. Here we go then. He's trying to go for the switch back. Oh, I guess a little too sideways. That could, well, I'm going to say could compromise him, but it won't really. He's still get a decent run down the main straight. Steve F1, though, all over the back of Tyler to take second place. Yeah, he needs to get past Tyler as quick as possible because right now Demon R is closing in in fourth place. SRI is really holding up Mandalorian's progress. And, uh, yeah, you can see how much of a difference uh, there is now as a Steve F1 up the inside in towards... Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm trying to remember the name of the corner now. <laughs> Clubber, cre uh, Creed, sorry. Yeah, um, the Creed, yeah. I, I, was, I was just laughing there because, as you said, Mandalorian has been held up, but he's right in this battle here. And it's the all oh, three wide, they're going to go. It's not easy to go three wide there, it can be done, but three wide here is not what you want. So two by two, they go. And Formula Gary oh. off into the barrier. I think Groover may have hit him because Groover's slowing down. But you mentioned, James, the Demon R is closing in on Steve F1. He's closed in all right. He's on on the back of Tyler. Tyler going defensive, but I've got a feeling that tyres, Tyler's tyres are tired. Cool. Yeah, Jason there, club covering the inside, uh, very much so, to a point where I think he nearly put Mandalorian in the wall. Nah. Uh, SRI. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Ready through Neil Armstrong now. Uh, I think somebody needs to get a decent run because SRI, he's, he's, he's boxing away, defending like... In uh, Sorry, 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 James. Interestingly, Jason was trying to do a bit of bump, draft, bump drafting on SRI, and SRI wanted none of it. Demon R, though, trying to attack Tyler. Tyler runs deep into the into a creed curve, and that's another uh, position gained. Oh, Jason, side by side with Mandalorian, bit of contact. Lewis also alongside Silver Shadow. They've been together quite a lot. I think Lewis may have just put Silver Shadow into the barrier. Uh, I could be wrong there, but uh, yeah, Mandalorian trying to attack Jason. Uh, Lewis trying to get through as well. Uh, formerly, Gary's going slow. Yeah, you can just see how much time that Mandalorian's lost in the last two laps, just being held up behind SRI, and now he's attacking Jason, because Jason's managed to get in front of him, but uh, yeah, Mandalorian, Ooh. I think he's pushing like mad. He is, he's having a look up the inside, but we're going to cut away from that to have a look at the lead at the moment because Dave the Harp is under pressure now from Steve F1. Jason and Mandalorian going side by side. Jason trying to cover the inside. It could compromise his exit. He heads up towards the Armstrong. Dave the Harp, is he going for the pit lane? Yeah, no, he's not. No. So, <laughs> Steve F1 uh, side by side then with Dave the Harp for the lead. But as we mentioned, Demon R, look at the gap that Demon R has been able to open up to Mandalorian. It, it could be a yeah. game changer here. It could be. Definitely. It's about five seconds back to Jason from Demon R. So Demon R now up the inside of Dave the Art. Dave the Art's just not got the tyres. I'm surprised he's stay out, staying out. He's managed to go more than half distance with one set of tyres. Uh, no, surely not. Oh, Lewis ran wide. I think Dave has made one pit stop already. I, I'm pretty right. sure he's running the soft compound tyre, not the super soft tyre. So he could be on a different strategy. Mandalorian, though, side by side with Jason. Uh, Jason's not going to be able to defend the hairpin on this occasion because Mandalorian is there. But can Mandalorian get it slowed down in time? Yes, he can. And that's a lovely bit of driving from the pair of them. That could allow Groover to close in, though. Yeah, so they're heading through the buzz hairpin and Demon R is all over the back of Steve F1. This is not what Steve F1 wanted. 
right now this he, that gap that he had at the beginning of the race he had about six seven seconds at the first round of pit stops now it's nothing <laughs> yeah <laughs> you couldn't put anything between them um so dave the harp not pitted yet so still going demon are having a look up the inside into the creek curve but no bags out of it interesting yeah could it be that if he was kind of thinking to himself if i went up the inside here and i understeer we could both be in the wall do you, do you want to know? I, I actually, I've been talking to him, you know, James, and oh, yeah. I got a bit of info about him. I've, I've heard you've got good contacts with him. I have, yeah, I have. You, you've been, I've got a direct line to him. Um, no, little moves like he did there, it's not an attempt at an overtake. In these cars, there's no rear window, so you can't look through the car ahead of you. So he could have just been moving over so he could see where the corner is. Uh, I, I think you, I think you, I think your contacts are fibbing there. He knows where the car is. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. He, he, might, that's he might do. He might do. But he's uh, he sat behind Steve F1 uh, for the whole of that lap. They not really had a look at attacking. But then, uh, well, he, well, is he going to attack this time? Yeah, he's having yeah. a look. He's going for it. I mean, I, I did wonder if he was going to bump draft Steve F1, but no, he wants the lead of the race. Dave the Arp has pitted. Uh, if you say so, that's his. Uh, his second pit stop, but I think that's his first because he were on a set of soft tyres, not super softs. I think the chances of Dave the Arp taking any set of tyres, 23 minutes, is impossible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right now, look at that gap difference. Demon is now leading the race. Look at the distance between Mandalorian and P3 on the minimap. Yeah. It's huge. We're talking about nine, eight, nine seconds there. Yeah, that we are. So that uh, middle phase of the race has definitely had a massive effect. And there is Mandalorian with Jason right behind him. Rich Blues running in fifth place at the moment with Lewis and uh, Tyler side by side. Tyler having a look up the inside into the hairpin. He's going past Lewis. He's got past Lewis. But Oof. I think, he, you know, what? I think he went deep. And I think Rich Blues done a switch back on him. Yeah, Rich Blues. Lovely move there through the herpes hairpin. Now Groover. He's looking to negotiate Lewis as they're heading towards Neil Armstrong. Yeah, Silver Shadow coming in on this battle as well. Rich Blues into Armstrong. He goes to Steve F1. He's all over the back of Demon R. Is he going to have a look down into turn one? No, he's not. Mm. Yeah, surprising. But yeah, here we go. I think Groove is heading for the pit lane as Jason's also in the pit lane. Uh, that's freed up Mandalorian. Now, Mandalorian's in a little bit of no man's land in between the rest of the pack and the front two yeah and Dave the Harp though have, after having making his pit stop uh, is right in the middle of the gaggle of cars is, uh, the, with the fresher tyres he should be able to get past uh, Rich Blues here there's nothing against Rich Blues oh Silver Ooh. Shadow off into the barrier someone call Clubber. him an ambulance <laughs> uh, Clubber Karma there he, he well and truly got knocked out yeah Dave the Harp nearly got a little too wide there as well he, well, he, he did get wide because that's allowed Rich Blues to sneak past an SRI to try and attack him down towards the herpes happen uh, all three wide they're gonna go rich blues has yeah. spotted that and i think sri has as well he's backed out of that one good move there by sri but rich i'm i'm enjoying seeing rich blues doing things ooh, like the ooh. switch back lewis lewis run wide there so i have demon r two more places has it uh, demon r <laughs> uh, dave the r. i always get mixed with them too but yeah dave the r that's what he needed to do use the freshness of them tires as demon r there he is that's actual demon r yep. he's defended into turn one yeah, someone's uh, heading into the pits. It's Mandalorian. His pit crew are ready. But where is he? Where is he? That's where, not him. That's where, Jason. <laughs> where is tyres? I think we're waiting for to get the tyres out. I think they've been fanning about there. But yeah, I think they're going for the undercut on the leaders as Jason up the inside there of SRI and he pitted only one lap ago yeah Jason scything his way through there uh, SRI trying to fight back though and they're catching up to the back of Rich Blues quite quickly Jason's going to be compromised on the exit of the corner there yes he is SRI trying to have a run at him now towards the hairpin Dave the Harp he's been going quickly on his fresh tyres but can't quite get Tyler at the moment has SRI attacked Jason uh, not quite Jason's trying to attack Rich Blues in the background but Dave the Harp all over the back Tyler. Yeah, Dave Arp, if he wants to be in the podium fight, he needs to get past Tyler and start pulling away because the front two are now in the pit lane. Yeah, so neither is going to get an advantage over the other when it comes to uh, undercuts or overcuts or anything like that. They're both in the pits at the same time as uh, Dave the Harp may have an opportunity of uh, coming out of Creed Curve in the lead of the race as he's uh, 
looking at attacking Tyler. Yeah, the front two are on the way out of the pit lane. They're just going to rejoin just behind these two. There they are. Yeah, David Harp does manage to get through. Tyler running wide through Creek Curve once again. But Demon R is right behind him. OK, so we now know there's definitely a battle on between Demon R and Steve F1 to the end of the race. They're not going to be stopping again. Can Dave the Harp get to the end? Can Tyler get to the end? What can Mandalorian do? He's in the pack again. And let's not discount Jason. He's won a couple of races recently. Anything could happen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's all looking very, very exciting. The guys on the freshest tyres right now are Demon and Steve F1, though, and they've just disposed of Tyler and uh, Dave the Arp. I don't think he's going to be able to pull away now because he's got two guys behind him with fresher tyres. And there we go. Ooh, Mandalorian going for his signature move up the inside as Silver Shadow were just hung out to dry there. Here comes SRI as well into Neil Armstrong. Can he get it slowed down? Yeah. He does. Move there. he does, Rich Blues has tagged onto the back of that battle as well so Demon R then attacking Dave the Harp down the main straight, down the Apollo uh, but Steve F1 is flying here at the moment in Dave the Harp's slipstream but Demon R is on the high line, what's he going to be able to do he's passed Dave the Harp around the outside of that corner once already, he's not going to do it again is he? I think he is I think oh. he's managed to do it, lovely move there but here we go, Dave the Harp covers off Steve F1 Steve F1 going back to the racing line to try and open up towards the kinky curve. Aye, that it is. Dave the Arp, though, still holding on to the position. Steve F1, he can't afford to let Demon R run away um, because he's not going to be easy to catch if he does. But if he can stay close, he can pressure him all the way to the end. But to be fair, Dave the Harp is in a great position at the moment. Yeah, he is indeed. Um, yeah, he's in a fantastic position, but I think his tyres are three laps older than these two guys. So even though he can stay with them, I don't think it'll be long before Steve F1 finds his way into P2. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it's on this particular straight. Uh, Steve F1 running the super soft tyre, they do give you a bit better traction out of the corners, but he'll have the slipstream of Dave the Harp to uh, try and attack. It's when he pulls out the slipstream, it may be a problem, but he will have better braking on the super soft tyre. Indeed, Jason there is in a little bit of no man's land in fourth place, then it's Mandalorian in P5. Steve F1 going for an unusual line in towards turn one, trying to open up the exit by running wide, but oh, it's worked this time, but I'm, <laughs> I well, think I'm it, surprised. <laughs> I think Dave the Art ran wider than Steve F1 did, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I mean, the high wide line, it's not, I personally, I don't think it's the uh, the optimal line, uh, but it, it can be used if you need to. Um, but what we've got going on here, SRI, he's ended up behind Rich Blue, so Rich Blue's on yeah. the move forwards. He's boxed yeah. uh, SRI in there. Gary had a really bad exit there. This could give Rich Blue's a little look up the inside. There he goes, and SRI, he's, he's been hung out to dry there. Uh, but yeah, uh, Groover right now. Can he finish in P6? That would be amazing if he can. But we've got a long way to go. We've still got another 10 minutes. <laughs> that we have. It seems like this race has been going on for a long time already. But Demon R leading the way. Steve F1 is close enough to him to make this a battle for the lead. He'll have decent slipstream now. All he's got to do is slot it up the inside into turn one. Demon R moves towards the inside. Doesn't want uh, Steve F1 attacking him there. So let's see what we can I think Demon R, as long as he can keep it on the island and not run too wide, he'll hold on to that position as now heading through Clubber Corner. Um, yeah, Steve F1 is a wily old fox and uh, yeah, he's just sticking on that racing line. And I think it's pretty much right now, they know that they've both got very, very similar pace. Uh, it's just going to be whether any of the guys behind can mount the challenge yeah I mean Jason is closing in on the back of Dave the Harp and I think Jason will be going to the end Mandalorian is not far behind so he's managed to close the gap in a little bit can he get to the end on the tyres that he is on the only time will tell yeah now they're heading through Neil Armstrong making sure you do not hit the wall and the outside oh Dave the Harp, the Harp did yep. yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the background there you can just see the white car slamming into the wall, and that just gives Jason a run. I think Davey Arp, I don't know what he's always going for is the pit lane. That's, I think that was quite a short stint, I think. He oh, and Mandalorian, he's going for the pit lane as well. Okay, so both of those guys perhaps realising they can't get to the end, so might as well pit now and use as much of the time available to catch back up. Uh, okay, so what have we got now? Groovers now sitting in fourth place. I mean, you mentioned, James, if you finish sixth, it'd be great. If you finish fourth, it'd be even better. Oh, it would. It would be amazing. Lewis doing really well in P5. And uh, this week, uh, he 
by this time in, in the previous two races, he's, uh, he's put his feet up and he's retired by now and he's doing really well. If he can carry on for another eight minutes, he'll finish a race and get some points. Dad, he will, Dad, he will. OK, Steve F1, once again, close to the back of Demon R. Lewis trying to attack Groover. Here we go then. Groover running a little, a little bit deep in the hairpin into the herpes. Don't want to do that. Now through Buzz. Lewis, if he controls this nicely, he'll have the better line for a bit of a switchback. Quicker exit. Mm. Maybe not. Ooh, yeah, I think he just went out onto the marbles, and unfortunately that just killed a little bit of wheel spin as Groover slaps Neil Armstrong. I don't think he'll appreciate that. No, he won't. Uh, Steve F1, once again behind D. Menar. Is he going to go for the move towards turn one? He's having a look, and no, took him back in behind. I'm wondering if Steve F1 is playing a patient game here. Is Lewis now coming under? No, Lewis putting the pressure on. Groover having that slow exit, James. And now Lewis trying to go through into turn one. It's a lovely move. Ooh. A lovely move can he keep it on the exit or is he going to hit the wall no he's managed to hold on to it that's a nice move there from Lewis mm -hmm. he's just got to think about clubber corner it's a very tight tight corner you do not run, run wide and he's managed to keep that under control silver shadow there in sixth place as we've got Mandalorian and Davey Arp on fresh tyres and it looks like them two are going hammer and tongs I oh, that it does. I think they either came out just in the pack or uh, just ahead of the pack at the moment, but got a bit of clear road ahead of them. If they work together, they may be able to gain quite a bit, but at the same time, they both want to sc what, they're scoring points for themselves. Yeah, indeed. There's no team orders here as Dave the Arp is pushing as hard as he mm. can. Mandalorian trying to get Dave the Arp out of position and they are closing in rapidly on Silver Shadow in P6. Yeah, that they are. So the fresh attire is working wonders for Dave the Harper Mandalorian at the moment. Uh, I'm just wondering, though, what's happening with the leaders. Uh, Demon R, Steve F1, you know what? They've gone all the way down the main straight and they haven't changed position. So I think Steve F1 is just biding his time and looking after his tyres, whereas Mandalorian, oh. he's saying, I don't need to look after tyres. Where I'm going, we don't need tyres. Yeah, where he's, he's almost run a little bit wide there, but he's managed to hold on to it. Next car up the road for Mandalorian is Silver Shadow. Uh, Silver Shadow just running a little touch wide there. And Mandalorian's got in that position. Groover run wide, so that's one position down Ooh. for Mandalorian. He's on the grass, he's on the rough, but he's managed to hold on to it. Can he keep in tow with Silver Shadow? Three wide in the background as well. Uh, SRI formerly Ooh, Gary. Where, where, where's Dave the Art? Where's he gone? Where is Dave the Art? Where is Dave the Art? I don't know what's happened to him there. I don't know if he's been <laughs> smacked off or what, but he's just disappeared into uh, oblivion. Yeah. I can't see him anywhere on the timing tower or anywhere on screen. And here we go to the race leaders. Is Steve F1 going to go and try and take the lead or are they going to be bump drafting he's all bump the way? Dra he's bump drafting. That's why he didn't make a move on the previous lap. He's bump drafting Demon R. So here's a question then, James. Why is Steve F1 bump drafting Demon R, making Demon R go quicker? Because they just want to get away from the pack. If they start fighting, they're just going to fall back into this pack. And that's not what they want. Uh, so, ooh, Tyler there just being helped round the corner by Rich Blue. So, I think Tyler would say, You're pushing me off. Uh, either way, SRI in the middle of this battle. And, ooh, Lewis, Lewis trying to uh, fight with Mandalorian. Mandalorian's. Ooh, pretty much, oh, he slid wide. Can he hold on to it? I do not know. Silver Shadow might have a run here at Mandalorian. Just ran onto the grass. And he has, oh, probably Gary and Groove again, a little bit physical. Mandalorian runs a little deep, Silver Shadow a little deep, Rich Blue's trying to sneak through. Woo! Holy cow, this is close. Tyler there as well. I've just seen Dave the Harp. He's at the back of this pack. Silver Shadow. Silver. Oh, what a move. Oh, Lovely that, move. That could hang Mandalorian out to dry, but Mandalorian's having a, a look back. Okay, well, this is getting frantic now. We've got just over four minutes to go. Yeah, Tyler's just slapped into Neil Armstrong and Rich Blues is really, really close behind Mandalorian as we go for the race lead again. Are they going to be swapping positions or is Steve F1 just sitting pretty waiting for that final lap? I think he's I think it is, he's definitely biding his time. He's pressuring while looking after his tyres. Mandalorian, though, he's going for it in two turn one. Or is he defend? No, he's going for the position. Runs a little bit deep, carrying the speed on the way in. Silver Shadow's got a decent run on the way out, but Mandalorian sort of closing the door on that one rich blues right behind silver shadow as well this is brilliant stuff yeah so mandalorian now ahead of that pack all he needs to do is try and pull away as lewis is up the inside of sri 
Can SRI try it round the outside? That's just going to slow them both down. There is David Yard. I've finally seen him. He's back in his battle. Oh, Tyler. Tyler's a bit late on the brakes there. Four wide into the head. It won't work. Oh, Tyler Lewis. SRI making contact. Dave the Harp saying thank you very much. I'll sneak through there. Oh, Tyler, though. He's still in position. He's still holding seventh somehow. Yeah, and oh, I think SRI's just been used like a pinball. He's gone flying, but luckily he's managed to keep hold of eighth place. Uh, and he has. I'm wondering if Lewis was flashing his lights there. Is that say uh, my fault or something like that? I don't know. Steve F1 still not attacking Demon R. So, yeah, he's definitely yeah. looking after his tyres. Demon R running a little bit wide there. Could be giving Steve F1 a bit of hope. Back to the pack, though. Dave the Harp on the fresh tyres being passed by Lewis. But here comes Groover. What has he got in that car? Bloody hell, Formula Gary out of nowhere. <laughs> it's a green curve. And it's good. Carnage, no, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's... I think Gary came in with too much speed and smacked it the day they happened Groover. Yeah, easily done. Five wide, doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but here we go, SRI. He's going to have to break early to give Lewis space on the exit. I think Rich Blues is on the rough. He's put back on. Oh, carnage, carnage. That is looking a little bit desperate and it usually comes the desperate five minutes is the last five minutes of the race oh Formula Gary has been spun around I think Tyler may have just spun Formula Gary round I saw Tyler coming to a stop and by the way that was a new noise that I made it's a new one uh, Steve F1 ok Demon R leading the way Steve F1 just under two minutes to go so we're not starting the last lap of the race yet or oh, there's two yeah. more to go Look at how, how much of a gap there is between, uh, I think it's Mandalorian and Demon R. I think it's the full length of the Apollo straight. Jason's in third in No Man's Land. And here we go back down the pack. We've got SRI defending with Dave the Arp and Groover up his jacksie. Uh, aye, that he has. Dave the Ark trying to make gains in these final couple of minutes, but so is everybody. SRI keeping it around the outside. Three Whoa. wide, they're going to go. Groover, you don't want to be up there, mate. You're going to have to slow down a lot. Dave yeah. the Ark spots it. Yeah, Groover, if, if he went in there too deep, that would have ended up in a collision. Ooh. And I'm, oh, SRI running wide there, but yeah. Groover in a position there where it's really compromised his exit so much that Tyler's having a look at him. That he is. Tyler maybe a little deep on the brake or a little late on the brakes there. Manages to just get it slowed down with the help of Groover. Dave the Harp trying to make the move on SRI. Up the inside into the buzz hairpin and uh, ahead he is. But here we go. There's Steve F1 right behind Demon R. They will be starting the last lap of the race. And Steve F1 is going for it this time. He has been saving yeah. his tyres. He's got nothing to lose now. This is the lap where he needs to be in front, but has he gone too early or is that the best opportunity to get in front? Well, if he thinks he's got the uh, the benefit of a uh, better tyre life, he's gone for it and uh, time will tell, but he'll be hoping he can pull away at this point. Yeah, indeed, but I still think Demon R will be forming if he finishes in P2 because he's been leading the race for the final 10 minutes solid. And, Steve and here F1. we go. Yeah, Steve F1's going defensive. Demon R having a look for a switch back, but Steve F1 parks it on the apex of the corner. That's a nice bit of defensive driving. Oh, Demon R trying it round the outside. That's, uh, yeah, I think he's trying to wait for the final corner. I think Demon R, if he gets a slipstream. I think Steve F1 will be wanting to send him to prison for uh, crimes against racing. <laughs> yeah, for robbery. Here we go then. This is the final lap. This is the final straight. Demon R on the back. No, on the side of Steve Got F1. It. He's pulling up alongside. He's, He's getting closer. He's getting He's closer. Where's the start finish line? And there across the line right. they go. Oh, awesome finish there. But here comes Jason. Over the line, takes P3, is there, sat in no man's land. Mandalorian comes away with P4, closely followed by Silver Shadow, and then here comes the pack. Yeah, <laughs> the pack. Yeah, yeah there we go. Uh, but I've got to say, James, what a race. What a race. Yeah, indeed. That were, that were uh, I think Demon R is well and truly mugged. <laughs> Steve F1 there. Well... From what I'm seeing, or what I'm hearing, the gap between Steve F1 and Demon R across the finish line, 0 0.1, no, 0 0.015 of a second. Yeah, so pretty much he mugged him. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he did. And in doing so, um, 
may just have taken the championship, taking the victory, that puts in more points, uh, well, it's a mathematically impossible for anybody else to, to beat him for this championship. Yeah, yeah, because taking the full points, uh, it was already in front of SGP, who was sitting, I think, in second place in the championship mm -hmm. before uh, he went away for this race. So, yeah, pretty much. Demon and I really needed to uh, finish right near the back if uh, SGP was going to mount a challenge for the final race. But, yeah, or Steve F Or Steve F1. I mean, if... If Demon R had finished at the back and Steve F1 had won, that would have brought Steve F1 into it for the final race of the championship. But yeah. unfortunately, Demon R had different plans on that one. So congratulations to Demon R on taking the victory and his fourth DGT League championship. Uh, someone needs to order him some more stars. Um, but I've got to say, Steve F1... Oh, I feel for him, I really do. He's had a brilliant championship and so close to the win there. Yeah, yeah, it was it were a fantastic race. Action from start to finish. Uh, Mandalorian put up a fight at the first half of the race. Then his race kind of just fell down the, uh, the creek of shit and they fell back into the pack. Uh, but yeah, Steve F1, he, I've got to say, even though he finished P2, thoroughly would have deserved winning that race he was so so fast in that opening stint pulling out a gap and uh, yeah he took Demon R to go with an alternative strategy pitting early so that at the end of the first stint he had slightly fresher tyres to come through the field uh, yeah just a just a fantastic race overall it, that, it definitely was it definitely was I mean Blue Moon Bay it's an interesting track with some interesting corner names but it's definitely given us a brilliant race to watch I want to mention as well um, Lewis he got to the end um, I can't say I know exactly how the whole of his race went but some of the bits we saw was very very good um, but yeah I mean I know I've said to him previously uh, goal number one is get to the end and get some points after that then you can start looking at uh, further ahead of you yeah yeah indeed indeed um, I'm just thinking we're coming towards the final race I'm trying to think what the final race track is for this uh, it's Fuji Long Fuji Long so yeah we do like that track it's a it's an interesting track um Lots and lots of long corners, which should be. Uh, as, but the, the one question, the one question I've got to ask you is: Is there some little chickens in this? Uh, no. Fuji along. No. There's no chickens. No. It's, no chicken. It, oh, oh hang, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't know if Fuji Long is the one with the chicanes. Then yes, it's got the chicane. Oh, that that chicken makes makes that circuit especially when Fernando Alonso is talking about it <laughs> I go through the chicken and they uh, got to go the through the you take a quick chicken through this one I got the uh, I got the, the drive through chicken yeah yeah exactly exactly I, I thought he was talking about KFC but he was actually on about Fuji yeah but yeah indeed what a race uh, I'm just trying to think Davy Arp, I think he were he was sitting pretty. I mean, he was running really long in the opening stint, and halfway through the race, I were kind of thinking, you know, if he carries on at this rate, he's, he's going to he's going to win. But mm. unfortunately, once again, got held up in that pack and uh, then disappeared off the face of the earth, and then came back to Blue Moon to come away. I think where did he finish? I think it were about eighth. Ah, uh, oh, eighth. Seventh oh. or eighth, yeah. So yeah, I think once again, I think he's just, he needs to try and work on getting through the pack and pulling away because unfortunately he keeps getting stuck in incidents with uh, drivers and uh, yeah, from, from what we can hear from Team Radio, we can't publish it live because there's a hell of a lot of effort and jeffing going on. They couldn't publish it on pornography. Um, no. <clears throat> what I also would say though is, I mean, Dave's had a difficult championship in the fact that he, as we mentioned before, has been working on getting better tyre life. But given the nature of this championship with the reverse grid order, it's a very difficult one to look after your tyres because if you're mid pack, you kind of want to push to get ahead, but you're under attack. 
and if you yeah. push too much your tires don't survive so i would if i was dave i wouldn't worry too much he has definitely improved on his tire life um yeah. and if we go to normal qualifying sessions it'd be interesting to see if he can then turn quick qualifying lap times into quick race pace uh, yeah I, I think it's he's in a bit of a um a bermuda triangle at the moment of um getting uh, not relevant data getting clear data as to what's actually happening if you know what i mean it's a little yeah. blurred with the the format at the moment yeah i think i think with next next season's championship will definitely show a little bit more of a true to form uh, pecking order having a car which has got a hell of a lot of grip plus tyres which don't degrade too much I think that will allow the drivers who can put together a stint and try and pull away from the pack I think that will allow people to try and do that so that if they are quick enough they can then eventually pit and come out in front of the pack whereas at the moment the tyres are degrading to a point where every single time you pit you're coming out behind everybody yeah. which creates a hell of a lot of entertainment but then some of the drivers are left a, bit, a little bit confused thinking am I crap? Yep. <laughs> or am I, or am, am I <laughs> what's going on here? Yeah. Nah, it, it, it's an interesting one I mean it, it, well yeah I can see what you mean uh, some people can get a little bit frustrated by it but I uh, I've got to say, I love it myself. It, it it adds to the challenge, but yes, it can be frustrating. I mean, things. Your, I mean, your mate loves it. He's just won championship again for fourth time. I know, I know. Someone needs to uh, take his legs out. I reckon. Um, what was going to say? Yeah, uh, Fluffy Planet wasn't driving today. Uh, he's off on holiday, um, which <laughs> could affect his starting position for the last race. Formula Gary. I can't say we saw a hell of a lot of him during that race, but he was within the pack for most of it. Uh, Rich Blues, I've got to say, having seen Rich Blues go from um, sort of finding it difficult to begin with to now starting to do things like going for switch back overtakes or defending, his driving ability is now really coming uh, into play. Indeed, indeed. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I'm trying to think of anybody else. So. Tyler, Tyler. Once again, he's shown he's got pace and he's got he can drive. Definitely, his tyres just suffer a little bit. Um, well, okay, either his tyres suffer a, too much. It's a good. It's a, it's a good job he can drive. Mm. Yeah, especially well, on a driving game. Yeah. That is true, that is true, yeah, uh, if you couldn't drive on a driving game, you, that wouldn't be very good at all, but um, what I was going to say was, he's either hurting his tyres too much by trying to go too quick, or he's pitting a lap later than he really needs to, so that extra lap um, is causing him a lot of time loss, but he's been doing well, yeah. he's been doing well to he be has, fair. He has, I've got to say, he has really impressed me as Tyler yeah. I think uh, he's only getting stronger every single championship so hopefully we will have I'm pretty sure I said this uh, last championship but hopefully we'll have somebody who can give Demon out a good run for his money because uh, right now he just keeps coming out smelling the roses mm. well he weren't smelling the roses when I saw him last um, I just quickly mention on Jason Jason tough for well interesting race for him um, definitely in a lot of the action for the first sort of three quarters in no man's land for the last 10 minutes but I'm sure he wouldn't have minded that just couldn't catch up to Steve F1 and uh, Demon R and Silver Shadow uh, had a few adventures but he had a brilliant battle for most of that race with the likes of Lewis yeah I think he were, well, he were even attacking Mandalorian at the end of the race and managed to literally just follow Mandalorian home finished in P5 so that were a good job yeah, good result for uh, Silver Shadow in a championship that's definitely been a tough one for him. So that could that could give him quite a big boost of points in the championship standings. And talking about championship standings, I think it's only right that we now take a look at the confirmed race result and the championship standings heading into the last race of the season, which will be from the Fuji Long Circuit for the last race in the Mitsubishi 
Grievo Cup. James, thank you for joining me on commentary again. No problem at all. Lovely doing it with you. Ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. <laughs> That's why I make the noises. Ooh. Right, let's take a look at that result. <laughs> Well, that's enough of that funny business as I leave James to head off to Kinky Curve or Kinky Corner. Let's take a look at the confirmed race result. Demon are just taking the victory in the maximum 20 points, which will confirm him as the DGT League champion of the Grievo Cup. Steve F1 finishes in second place with Jason third and Mandalorian fourth. Silver Shadow with a good result in fifth place and SRI scoring decent points in sixth. Formula Gary, Dave the Harp, Lewis and Groover were all close across the line in seventh to tenth and then Tyler unfortunately finished in eleventh and Rich Blues in twelfth. That could definitely spice things up regarding the championship standings, so let's not hesitate, let's take a look at how that lines up. I will just quickly mention as well that there were no race reports uh, handed in by any of the drivers, so let's get on with this. Demon R confirmed four-time DGT League champion. In second place at the moment is Steve F1 on 114 points and only eight behind him is Mandalorian. Five points is between the Mandalorian and SGP and then Jason is another 11 points behind. Dave the Harp is in 6th place on 72 points with Fluffy Planet in 7th on 64. Formerly Gary's got 57 points and he's only 3 ahead of Groover who is only 4 ahead of Silver Shadow. It's then a 10 point gap to SRI who is only 3 ahead of Rich Blues. With Bunsel not racing he drops down to 13th on 34 points while Tyler scores points but doesn't gain a place on 14th at 23 points. Lewis having scored his first points of the championship means he's now tied on points with Con Reese. he's got one more race to get ahead of him. Next up for the DGT League Grievo Cup is round 9, the season finale from Fuji Long, it'll be an interesting race that one. If you are interested in getting involved in a racing league on GT Sport, feel free to find Dynamic GT League on Facebook and drop them a message and the guys there will give you all the information you need to know. Anyway, that's all from me today. Make sure you come and join us for the final race of the championship and then preparations will begin for the championship beyond the VW Super Sport. Have a good one, folks, and see you all again soon.